Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be going to Caterpillar. We're going to be picking up my 302 excavator who was at the excavator doctor. And well, let's go pick it up. What we're going to do now is go pick up the mini excavator. We're good there. Now I just need to go get everything ready. Go get my laptop. I have a couple of Zoom meetings that maybe I have to do in the truck. So I'll tell you guys right off the bat, this is a little bigger machine than the 301.7 that we do have. We got this one a closed cab because in the winter it gets really cold when you're swinging around but this machine looks brand new well it's been in the shop most of the time but unfortunately we haven't had the best luck with it but when we do use it man we use the hell out of it great machine a little stronger than this guy here definitely recommend this one so what had happened here something with this we got a little dent in here, so that caused it to leak. Previously, it started leaking coolant from down here. One of these here started leaking coolant, and no, it was actually right here. Maybe a radiator. I don't remember exactly what it was, but then we also were never able to get that jackhammer to properly work on this machine. And we got that hammer because it fits on this machine as well. That's always a good thing. That 303 looks beautiful. We checked it, we're good. Now I'm just gonna put strap on this guy. We pulled up to the yard now. We have Mike in the back. He's gonna be doing a charge wire like we did on the other trucks for this Chevy here. That way, when we go dump, they don't die on us. We're just gonna unload this and then we're gonna be doing the review. I'm going to test it and see if it actually works. There should be a little tool in here. Should be able to switch the, the key. So we're supposed to flip these guys. Let's do it this way. And I think that's it. Okay, now we're ready for the review. So this 302, it's a closed cab machine. It has AC, it has a heater, keeps us nice and cool or warm during the winter. Okay, so we get snow here in Reno, Nevada. It also has a radio, click this. Well, I tell them not to put play music loud or if they're gonna play music, you know, just something light, you know, where only you can hear it. So there's that, we have a blade. This actually goes in. So we'll go, we'll hit this. So with the touch of this button, you go like this, like this, and the tracks will start going in. So that's another reason why we bought this machine because the tracks go in and it, it's just a little guy then at that point we're able to access small backyards this one is actually a little bigger than 32 inches um i could probably go a little more narrow because usually the tracks go in all the way so when you have the tracks and it's only for small access areas i don't think it balances that good with the tracks being in so come on inside let's show you around we have this cigarette lighter to charge your phone the blades here 
will actually go in and go in with the excavator. That's a very cool feature. If you're in the concrete industry, you're breaking out driveways, I definitely recommend getting a hammer. You're gonna save a lot of sledgehammer, hammering on your guys' back. Um, since it was in the shop and it was getting fixed, we had to tear out a, a concrete driveway for pavers. And one of my guys was sledgehammering and like two hours in and he calls me and he's like, hey, my back is down. Well, actually he didn't tell me, but my brother told me that his back was like done, like that he got hurt. I was over here freaking out. I thought we had to take him into the ER or whatever, um, but it wasn't that serious. He still went out to the doctors. He still got checked out and now he's getting treatment. Now back to the excavator. This machine was about 49,000 when, when we purchased it. This here has really changed our company, especially the 301.7. We're gonna have to be doing a review on that one as well. Um, ownership, I mean, I've had it for what, about a year now and it broke down on me like about three times. So it's given me a little bit of problems, but nothing that Mike at Caterpillar take care of under warranty. Dealer support is very important. That's why we have Cat. So shout out to Cat, Empire Cat now, used to be Cashman. Here are my favorite things about this machine. I really like the Caterpillar yellow. And one of my favorite features is actually how this opens up like this. You get more vis of a visibility. We have this open, we can breathe, everything's fine. These windows also open. You can even take down out your uh, sun hat. What I am gonna try to do is I wanna tint the windows just so that the sun doesn't really come in, but then what if um, it's too dark and we can't see anything? Because on my truck, we have 5% all the way around, except for the windshield. And then on the dump truck, we have legal limit 25%. So I think a tent would look, make it look a lot nicer and go from there. Another cool feature is that we're actually able to track this machine. Um, it gives us the hours through the app and every time it needs service, it, it notifies us through the app and we're able to tell the location service uh if my payments are going through that app is really really helpful hiring a cdl driver has been the best decision i've made in a while it, it freed up so much of my time he's able to now transport all the equipment um, from job site to job site so he's going to carson city right now he's going to go pick up the other bad boy of these that we have out there and move it over to the next job site that we're doing. So, so are you guys ready for all the cons? Well, I have a couple, let me tell you. First one, maintenance is really expensive. I think I pay like 1,200 for oil change on this machine. It, it, it's really expensive, but let's think of it on the other side. They come to me and service it. They come to the job site after it's done being used. They, they will come directly and just they do a test on the oils, on, the, on all the fluids. They give us an analysis. So it's almost like going to the human doctor. Another con would be that sometimes this specific machine is too big for certain job sites and we, we get cold. It's not really a con because I can make it up with the other machine, but I wish they would have made it a 301.7 with the cab. Another con would be that it's actually kind of slow um, it's a, a lot slower than my 301, but I mean, this one's still a lot stronger. And Tito always tells me, why do you need it to be so fast? What you need is, is to get the machine down. Right there, we just opened it up, opened up the tracks, call it good. Another cool feature with this, with the push of this button, we're able to drive it like a skid steer you know this controls the blade so it's almost like playing a video game so definitely the pros outweigh the cons on this machine and i am very happy to have this machine be part of the team and it's friday today so we're just gonna hold off 
on transporting it over to the job site. Um, we are going to be using the breaker on Thursday. We're going to be starting Amy and Justin's. We're working on Sabrina's. Jose is doing the gas line. So that, that kind of delayed us right there, but he should be done today, inspection. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your guys' support. Don't forget to give that video a thumbs up and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Let's go.